I'm never fully Chinese and I'm never fully American. We are a tiny percentage of the entire population. My parents immigrated from China. So they brought along with them all of their Chinese mindsets, their traditions, their cultures. And I learned that from them. But I was also going to American schools, having American friends. And I was growing as an American as well. In like kindergarten, I had a lunchbox. It was probably the first week of school. I had a boiled egg, some white rice, some boiled broccoli, and then I think some chicken thighs or something like that. And the moment I opened that up, after it was in my backpack for a few hours, it smelled like boiled eggs and it smells like broccoli, which smells like farts sometimes. But little white kids around me, didn't, they didn't know that, right? They're eating their Lunchables and they're like, ew, what's ew, that? Ew, ew, why does it why smell? Does who, smell Brian, did Brian, you, did you fart? fart? Ew, what are, what are, you, what are you, eating? you eating? Why does it, why does it smell, smell bad? bad? That's what I ate growing up with my family. I didn't know that that was weird. I didn't know that that was different. As an adult, there are still misunderstandings that I experience to this day. It's like, oh wow, I heard Chinese people eat dogs. I heard Chinese people eat bats. Like Things like this that maybe are not entirely true. Maybe there's some misinformation behind it. There was always a tug of war in my mind of things that I wanted to do, but things that I was raised to do. All throughout school, up until college, I always wanted to have my own business. Growing up in America, that's what you're taught. My parents had taught me about what they thought was best, which was find a stable job, work a nine to five. And because of that tug of war, there was always hesitancy to fully jump in to what I wanted to do. It wasn't until last year where I finally decided I'm gonna run my own business full time. That took me almost 15 years of my life to finally get to that point. Another thing is just growing up, we're taught really that silence is power, that speaking up for yourself isn't necessary. So I took that mindset into school when I was getting bullied and I found that that didn't work because when I did that, it perpetuated the bullying and allowed people to continually run over me. I imagine growing up in an American family that it's much different. Your parents probably tell you like, don't be a doormat, speak up for yourself so that nobody is stepping all over you. So let's move on to the positive things. We are naturally just more open-minded to things that are different than us, people that are different than us. And that really doesn't happen if you just grow up in a single culture. You're not naturally gonna think, let me go venture out outside of my own comfort zone to a group of people or a place that is completely different than what I am used to because people want to be comfortable. And the other thing is just the way that our parents love us is very different than how an all American family would love their kids. I remember hearing of things from my friends where maybe they had to move back in with their parents at some point during their lives and their parents would charge them rent their parents would charge them for utilities. And that was a shock to me because if I had tried to pay for rent, they would most likely be offended that I'm not accepting their love. They want you to be independent, but if you need their help, they're there for you. If you're Asian American, you probably also experienced that. And that's something that we should be super grateful for. Well, thank you for watching this video. If this is something that is completely foreign to you, thank you for learning about a type of culture and a type of person that is different than you. If you like this video, give me a like and give me a subscription as well as we try to reach my goal of 500. If there's any other stories that you would like to hear from my life, please share with me in the comments below. You can follow me on Instagram. That's also in the description. Peace out. See you in the next video.